Hello, people. I was debating on whether or not to do this. Um, but being that it's the 10 year anniversary and everything, I kind of felt like it was kind of due. Um, a lot of people are putting up the where, where were you kind of uh, videos right now. Uh, just to kind of recap a little or go into my story. At the time I was working at Sprint PCS in Nashville. I was part of the business services customer care team. Um, came, showed up to work at 8 o'clock in the morning. Wasn't scheduled to be there till 8.30 but we always had to arrive early because they had uh, festival seating there and you never really knew where you were going to sit exactly. Um, but that morning we were supposed to have had training and our trainer hadn't arrived yet so I wandered around till about 8.45 visiting with folks and just kind of hanging out and I worked my way back into the kitchen around 8.45 um, our little break room area and uh, I heard that a, a plane had hit the Trade Center well of course they didn't have any video footage at that point they just showed the um, the Trade Centers themselves and uh, right in the middle of them talking about it they broke away and, and showed a, a picture of part of the building smoking but you didn't really see any holes so I'm thinking uh, it's just a little private plane no big deal somebody screwed up um, I walked out uh, onto the little patio that they had there and kinda hung out there for about 15 minutes turned around and came back in and then I find out no it wasn't a private plane it was an actual jetliner so I kind of kind of got to questioning things in because it didn't make sense that a, an airliner had hit the building irregardless it didn't seem like anything that dramatic or that drastic at that point so I went ahead and watched a few minutes of it and then walked in and uh, sat down and went to work. I found out that our training had been canceled, the trainer hadn't showed up, so went back, sat down and started working. While I, I had gotten up and gone back out into the break room area and was watching the the recap of it, somebody actually was showing the building and it looked like well it was kind of unbelievable still I saw the plane hitting the building and basically just going in and, the, and all the debris that came out as it pierced the side of the building and what was odd to me when I was watching it was that the other building was smoking and they were actually talking about the other building and while they were talking about it the second plane hit uh, the south or the north tower I was really puzzled at that point um, I was kinda standing there in shock and I, I, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing I mean it kind of mind-boggling but I had to get back to work so I went back in sat down at my desk and of course they gave us a little bit of leeway a little bit of understanding uh, because of what was going on nobody really knew it was a lot of confusion and at the time we really didn't have very many calls coming in at all so we were able to get up and run out there and check on the monitors to see what was going on on my way back to my desk I was told that this could be a major call generator 
as if I was worried about that part. Um, but they told us that um, the spire on the top of the North Tower was uh, a transmitting antenna and that several of Sprint and Verizon's uh, cell phone towers that transmit and receive the cell phone signal were on top of that building connected to the spire. So I figured, yeah, we're going to be getting a lot of calls from a bunch of idiots. Um, people that don't realize that everything that's going on, there's going to be some communication issues. I was on the phone, I'd say about 10 minutes till 10, my phone rang and I was talking to a girl about her service. She seemed to think that her signal was, uh, or that her service was cut. And at the time, I didn't realize that she was in New York until she gave me the phone number. And while I'm sitting there talking to her, and I, she's complaining and crying to whoever's in the um, in the shop there with her that she didn't know how she was going to get home. And I asked, well, what's the problem? And that's when she explained that all the tunnels and all the bridges were closed. They couldn't get through, couldn't go across. There was no ferries at the time. Those were all locked down too. And she lived across the river. So she was concerned about that. I'd say right at probably five minutes into the conversation I asked her where she was working or where she was at that she was concerned about that she told me that she was working in a um, a store just catty corner from the World Trade Center the south one I guess about three minutes after that you hear a bunch of people running down the street screaming not screaming just they were just real loud and you could tell there was a bunch of people going by and when I found out she worked near the trade center or right across the street from it I understood that yeah they they were probably booking to get out of the way of all the debris that was falling and then she told me that they were ordered to evacuate the building that uh that the south tower was getting ready to fall and she continued on with me for a couple more minutes and you heard people walking out of the shop door you hear the little bell on the door clinging and uh... then somebody says we gotta go we gotta go now and all i heard after that was the phone receiver clinking it sounded like it was just banging against the counter and it hit a few times three or four and then it stopped and just and I could still hear everything. Well, uh, it sounded like, at the time, it sounded like, um, not sure if you've ever had like a big rock and thrown it down on a piece of road. It's just kind of a dead thud and it's a real distinct sound. But it sounded like somebody was dropping a bunch of rocks on the, on the asphalt. And I didn't hear anything after that the phone disconnected and of course I got up and went out again to the break room and like I said it was about about 10.05 somewhere in there um, and sure enough the south tower had fallen well I ran back in sat down at my desk I tried to just make little quick trips out there to see what was going on get updates and of course I'd share it with all the people there around me and uh, we had a disabled person on our team that couldn't run out so I was kind of keeping them abreast of what was going on well I came back and just sat there in awe just wondering what in the heck was going on and and why all this was occurring and about 10.25 thereabouts was my actual break time so I logged out of my phone for my break <clears throat> and went out and was watching the replay of the 
South Tower fall. Right in the middle of that, they break away, and the North Tower fell. Now, on my way home, I didn't know what to feel. I was listening to all this speculation about what caused it, who caused it, uh, who was behind it, um, all the different people that were affected by it, the number of people that were killed, they were estimating. Of course, at first they were estimating like 6,000 people, and then later that afternoon the number dropped to around 5,000. And <clears throat> I did a um, they started getting all the crews together uh, to do a preliminary search and I mean it it bothered me because I was concerned if stuff like this was going to happen on a regular basis if um, this was just going to be like the terrorists have been infiltrating all this time and just sitting there laying in wait uh, there was going to be a whole bunch of other instances all across the United States or, or what was going to happen. I mean, it was the only time I've ever not felt secure in this country. After everything was done, um, well, actually around lunchtime, I got off for lunch at like 12.30. And I found out that all the airports had been closed. Um, all flights were canceled, grounded, and the, fl the planes that were in the air still had been diverted to other airports. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a, a pretty confusing and upsetting day all in one. Nothing like, I mean, I didn't know anybody there. Um, I didn't have any relatives that were there. Uh, so I didn't really have any personal loss, but I did have a lot of emotion and a lot of personal stress for the people that, that did have. Um, I mean, it didn't matter what race, nationality, or whatever they were. It, it, it affected me still because they were still part of the country, still part of what kept the country going. The report that I read last was that there was 2,996 total deaths from that. Had the 19 hijackers, which uh, 246 passengers on four different planes, uh, 2,606 people were in the Trade Center. Uh, 125 people in the Pentagon. Uh, 411 um, emergency workers. 341 uh, fire department or firefighters rather. And two paramedics from the fire department. New York Police Department lost 23 officers and the Port Authority lost 37 officers and 8 EMTs died all because somebody had a beef with the United States I don't give people any personal opinion about their country or their beliefs people are gonna believe the way they believe but I'll just kinda end this by saying it was it, it seriously had me questioning humanity in general when when it hit home when uh, people were actually dying here for something that somebody else believed and there wasn't really much at the time that we could do about it somebody I was watching on the TV the other day oh no actually it was somebody on YouTube that I was watching the other day that said that the war on terror would never actually be over that you can't have a war against an idea. In a way I would disagree with that. And until the until the idea of terror is gone, we've got to fight. We can't just lay down and, and let the people come in and push everybody around and kill off whoever. We've we just gotta do what we can. So that's pretty much my story of where I was and what happened. 
like I said, I'd neglected to put it on here because it wasn't something that personally affected me. I mean, I didn't, it didn't hit home as far as my family goes, as far as somebody from my family dying or, or having a problem because of it. But it still affected me, and it still affected my family because everybody was upset over it. And remarkably, even my kids were. And at the time, they were really, really young, so it was surprising that, that they were affected as much as they were. I thank you for watching. Um, keep these people in mind and these people's families more than anything because they're the ones that have to deal with the loss. But I thank you for watching. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.